I was born in the USA and I was trained as a chemist at university. And many years ago, 25 years ago, I moved to the United Kingdom to specialize in cancer research. So this was the first opportunity I had to do this interdisciplinary research, taking chemistry, knowledge, and apply it to the cancer biology field. And now 25 years later, we've advanced this interdisciplinary research and have evolved, it's sort of perfected this idea here like we have with our colleagues in the European Union. So here in Gdansk, we like to bring together people from many different countries in the European Union, of course the United States, to tackle this problem of how to develop better anti-cancer vaccines. Yes, I'm Swedish and I did my um, uh, medical training at the Karolinska Institute where I also did my PhD. Then I um, moved to do my postdoc studies in Edinburgh or in Dundee where I met uh, Professor Ted Hub. Immune therapy or the understanding how the immune system can be used to fight cancer is a very promising area of research. What we will do here is trying to uh, provide new ideas and better understanding of the interaction between the tumor cells and the immune system and this will pave the way for new therapeutics. So we have six different, very different disciplines in biology and medicine and so people come together here as a centralized facility and we aim to recruit people of different ages uh, to train them in these uh, interdisciplinary researches, teach them how to work together, to work as a team and then somehow generate this pipeline towards developing therapeutics into the patients. So the idea is to really train the next generation of scientists to take this forward into the future. I think to start our work in Poland, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is advertise internationally for experts across the world who are interested in tackling this global vision. You know, how do we tackle and develop anti-cancer vaccines? So our hope, is, of course, is first recruitment, to recruit the best scientists who want to come to work on this big vision from different countries, hopefully have an international you know, footprint, uh, people from different countries can come and apply their expertise here as like a central facility uh, in the European Union, for example. Professor Hopp and I myself, we are, our backgrounds in, is in molecular oncology. So we are taking, moving our research towards immunology. And I think we have a, we can make a contribution there and better understand the oncological processes going on in the tumor cells and how these processes interfere with the capacity of the immune cells to detect and destroy cancer cells. I say 20 years ago we met. We met in the laboratory of one of the pioneers of uh, you know, 20th century cancer science. He discovered a major tumor suppressor and we met 20 years ago. But since then, we've been involved in like three different big programs. So this is our fourth kind of big program. So I think you know, it's a similar idea, how can, you, how can you work together to develop big visions and you need this interdisciplinarity. So for 20 years we've been thinking like this and this continues this big vision idea. For the University of Gdańsk to host the international research agenda is a real great opportunity and from the other side also a challenge but we hope and we know that to have such a good research center here will increase also the quality of research at the University of Gdańsk, will increase the potential of internationalization of the university, we will get a lot of new research projects, new people not only from Poland, new scientists not only from Poland but from all over the world.